few simple uh, methods and techniques and advice notes can actually save you a lot of problems later on. Uh, some fabrics, like these stretchy fabrics, they come and uh, the edges are actually quite pulled. And now, uh, if you notice, I don't know how visible that is, but uh, the ending on that is actually far stretched. So when we actually lay this for cutting, we're not going to get a very good cutting because there is a quite a bit of pull. So what this means is, prior to <coughs> going on to cutting anything uh, that has, is to, it's a good idea to take this edging off and that will help you to lay the fabric for cutting a lot easier. I know it means extra work and sometimes we're a bit reluctant to do put our effort into these little jobs. I know on certain fabrics uh, we're reluctant to cut this off because the edging has, you know, the fraying doesn't happen when uh, the edging is. So what I'm going to make is uh, an abaya and what I want to do is this abaya, I want to make it as wide as possible. What's happened is uh, the abaya that my customer, my friend had, her daughter, she she had this abaya but she had a bag which uh, actually had velcro on it and uh, the velcro has caught onto the side of the abaya whereas it's ruined the abaya. Now the abaya had beautiful sleeves so what we've done is we've taken those sleeves off which I will show you in a few minutes and <coughs> she just wanted another abaya making using the existing sleeves. Now the sleeves are quite nice so we're not going to waste the sleeves and we want to make we want to make it in as little fabric as possible but at the same time we want to make it as wide as possible so what we're going to do is once we've chopped off the edges as you can see the fabric is lying a lot lot better now Now you can, if you want to make extra width, obviously there's two ways around it. Either you get extra fabric or you put pieces in. Now generally I wouldn't really advise putting pieces in uh, lycra because it's a little bit uh, difficult to sew. <coughs> but now this, this is the abaya that's been ruined from the effects of and it's slightly airlined. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the airline effect, and we're going to cut into it. And then these pieces that we get out from here, we're going to turn them over and use them on the bottom. Now the waist on the waist we're fine with it is from the waist down that we want the width uh, the width of the gear so <coughs> we're going to attach the panels from the waist down
So we're going to leave this piece lying here. We're going to pick our abaya, place it here. And this is where we want the width adding on this. So we're going to use from the waistline and down. from the bottom Now, normally you'd, what you'd want is, <coughs> there was a damage in this piece, so because of the damage I'm not able to get out, but I've got some more of this fabric, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this open, and I'm going to take the one piece out, and then take the one piece out from the rest of the fabric, but generally what you would do is, um, out of uh, like perhaps one and a half or two yards of fabric, you would get uh, quite a nice width out. It's using the exact method that I've used, except that uh, you would take it out from the area which I had a damage in the piece so I was unable to use that particular piece so we're having to put into we're going to be putting into our extra fabric which is not a problem just require one more piece of this and then it's just going to be a straight attaching from the waist from the waist area down I'm going to attach the panels and then do that seam all in one now the sleeves these were the sleeves that have come from the original Abaya and they're quite fancy sleeves so we're going to use the existing sleeves and hopefully that should uh, finish it off nicely.